Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and today we're going to be talking about the future of GTA Online. This is a topic that many people want to know the answer to and everyone has their own separate speculations as to what's going to be happening in the future. But over the weekend, we actually learned some information which might surprise some of you guys. So this is coming from Yan over on his website, but he says the title of his post, GTA Online updates are going to start slowing down. Now there was a rumor going around last year sometime that in 2017, in the summer of 2017, the GTA Online updates would start sort of stop coming out since Red Dead Redemption 2 would be a few months away, so they'd be focusing on that, and then GTA 6 after that. And ultimately, you know, we don't know a definitive answer. This just comes from some of the people, some of the sources that Yan has in Rockstar. So this is basically some people at Rockstar telling him what's going on. What he actually heard was that GTA Online updates are going to be slowing down this year, and then stopping around the time Red Dead Redemption 2 will release so later on at the end of this year and then he has some questions here he says you would think that rockstar would want to end gta online with something big but what if we've already got that something big i mean basically the entirety of last year was huge dlcs and the most recent one the import export dlc that's another huge dlc apparently according to him that dlc the import export one was supposed to be the last gta online update because of shark cards and because of all the money GTA Online is making, Take Two, the publisher of the game, not Rockstar, Take Two, they obviously don't want GTA Online to stop producing DLCs, which in turn would stop producing money for them. And it seems, according to his post, that like within Rockstar or within Take Two, there's sort of a split because Take Two want them, like, want Rockstar to continue making DLCs which makes them money, but Rockstar are kind of done. They're like, we've, we've, you know, all the ideas we had, we've made those as DLCs, and we're going to continue going on to future projects, Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 6. And because of that, Yan says that since they are quote-unquote out of ideas, I mean, that's there's so many ideas there that could be had with GTA Online, so I wouldn't say they're out of ideas, but they're out of the ideas that they started with, I guess you could say. But he asked a question, you know, what happens when the devs are out of ideas and resources, but they are forced to make more updates by the publisher? They come up with smaller and less creative updates, maybe reusing content from previous updates and use them in a different way. So if the DLCs will, or, you know, if they do continue this year, and I think they will just because of the amount of money GTA Online brings in, we might not get as big of DLCs as we got last year. We might not get an import-export DLC. A CEO update, a biker update, you know? It might be smaller, more focused updates, which could be a good thing, but it, it looks like it's not going to be these gigantic updates with like 20 cars and all these amazing gameplay concepts or ideas. And if you're wondering sort of like what he means and what I mean by saying the devs are out of resources. So Rockstar Games is split up into a few divisions. The main two are Rockstar North and Rockstar San Diego. Now, Rockstar North, those are the guys that make GTA, and then Rockstar San Diego, those are the guys that make Red Dead Redemption. Now, there is some people from Rockstar North who help on Red Dead Redemption and vice versa, but that's kind of what happens, or that's kind of the layout of their two dev teams. At the moment, Rockstar North is currently divided into four parts. So some people, like I mentioned, are helping Rockstar San Diego with Red Dead Redemption 2. Some people started working on the next GTA game. And there's another part that are working on another game, which I guess is not named or titled. So you're left with just a handful of people working on GTA Online. And because the studio is so split, you can't have these big updates because they have, you know, three to four times less developers than they originally had. So I guess to conclude, you know, if nothing does change and if all this stuff is true, then over the next, you know, month, two, three, four, up until Red Dead Redemption, we might not see that many DLCs and we might not see some of these big DLCs that we're hoping for. Now... As always, you know, like I said at the beginning, this is, you know, just a rumor. 
Th this is just what's happening at the moment over at Rockstar. They could all decide to change this stuff, you know, once they finish, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2. Some of those guys can come back and, and start or, you know, continue helping on GTA Online. But that's kind of where we're at. And let me know in the comment section what you think. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? I, I see both sides because on one hand, you're like, well, if more people are working on Red Dead Redemption 2, that means it should be better and it should be good. Like the online should be really fun. And then if other people are working on GTA 6, maybe we'll get that sooner. So even if the updates, you know, start stopping, I guess, then we only have to wait a year or, or maybe two to get GTA 6. And we can continue playing, you know, the new game. But on the other side of the fence, it's like, man, you know, all these amazing things last year, all these amazing DLCs. And then this year, we're kind of, it's kind of, you know, going to run out. Like this game that we all love, this game that we all play we're, there's not going to be any new content for it, and that kind of sucks. So, sort of let me know in the comments, like, what side of the fence are you on? Are you thinking this is a good thing, or are you kind of upset about this? The one thing that I hope happens, if they do continue this course where they don't really release that many DLCs for GTA Online, I hope we get a quality of life update, you know what I mean? Just so they can fix certain things that are so annoying. I mean, I don't want to go through the list, but just... Maybe fix the homing launcher. Maybe you can only lock on to aircraft that has rockets or has, you know, like an attacking capability. Maybe they could unblacklist certain items. You know what I mean? Like if we could put the cop cars in our garages or some of the other cars that they've blacklisted in our garages to keep them. Or even the outfits. Let us have free reign over the outfits. You know, take away all the restrictions. Give us that. They could do stuff like that, and that alone would breathe new life into the game because the game would be less annoying. Even with all that said, I still am going to be optimistic when it comes to GTA Online just because of the insane amount of money GTA Online is making. I mean, I say, like, if you put it into perspective, it's absolutely ridiculous. GTA Online, in its, like, third year, has made more money than most games that come out. And I think what Take-Two wants to do is they want to continue making that money up until the next GTA game. Because as great as Red Dead Redemption 2 might be, and as excited I am for it, I don't know if it's going to have the mass you know, appeal to the public as GTA. Because it's, it's more of a niche game. You can't get into a car and go around killing people. You got to get on a horse, and it's, it's, just, it's a slower game. It's a different setting. It's a different style of game. So... I don't know if it's going to be as popular, which for Take-Two might mean it might not make as much money. And I know people out there, because I've seen in the comment section, that say, I'm not even going to play Red Dead. I mean, that's you should play it because it's such a good game. But if you don't like it, you don't like it. And maybe people just like GTA. And if there is nothing to do in GTA, maybe they won't buy shark cards and they won't you know, continue playing the game. But I don't know. That is, that is everything that's going on at the moment that happened over the weekend, I guess. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.